Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show how to remove a used film pack from this Instax Mini Link 2 printer. But before we begin, I wanted to talk about some different things. First, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions, and make sure that you read through all of the paperwork that comes with the Instax Mini Link 2 printer, including the user's guide and safety precautions before you use the Instax Mini Link 2 printer. Also make sure that you read through all of the information on the box of the Instax Mini Link 2 printer before you use the Instax Mini Link 2 printer. And second, I do plan to make future videos about the Instax Mini Link 2 printer, and if that's something that you're interested in, please check back for those videos. Okay, I'm going to get you a closer look at the Instax Mini Link 2 printer. Okay, so the printer needs to be turned off, and this printer is currently turned off. But I'm going to show you how to turn the printer off in case your printer is turned on. So to turn this printer on, I need to press and hold this button right here that says Instax for approximately one second until the printer turns on. And I'm going to do that now. And when the printer turns on, I can hear and feel it vibrate, and then also it lights up where it says in stacks. And also kind of around the button as well. Okay, so to turn the printer off, I need to press and hold the button right here that says in stacks for approximately one second until the printer turns off. I'm going to do that now. And when the printer turns off, I can hear and feel it vibrate. And then also the light that was coming through where it says Instax turned off. And then also the light that could uh, be seen around the button turned off as well. You also want to make sure that the printer doesn't have the charging cable plugged into it. So the printer needs to be both turned off and unplugged. Okay, so you want to make sure before you open the film door that the film pack is completely used and empty because if you open up the film door and there is remaining film in the film pack, the remaining film will get exposed and become unstable. And you should be able to see how much film is remaining in the film pack on the app that is required to use this printer. Okay, so I'm going to gently lift up the printer and then I'm going to turn the printer over. And then I'm just going to gently set the printer down this direction just so the film door is easier to see on camera. So I'm just gently setting down the printer. Okay, so this is the film door lock and I'm going to hold on to the printer with this hand and then I'm going to slide the film door lock over. And you wanna be careful when you do this because the film door will spring up so make sure that your hands and fingers and anything else are away from the film door. Okay, I'm going to slide the film door lock over. Okay, now I'm going to lift up the film door. And then there are two rectangles, one here and one here. So I'm just going to use my thumb and this finger to grasp the film pack where those two rectangles are. And then I'm just going to gently lift up. I'm going to hold on to the printer with this hand just to help keep the printer stable. And I'm just going to lift the film pack up and then out of the printer like so. 
and you want to make sure that you do not touch anything inside of the film door. So I'm going to set the empty film pack down right here. Okay, now I'm going to gently close the film door. I'm going to hold on to the printer right here and then just gently set the film door down. And when you do this, you wanna be careful because there are a lot of pinch points. So I'm just gently setting the film door down. And then I'm just going to gently press the film door down until it secures all the way into place. And like I said earlier, you wanna be careful because there are a lot of pinch points. So I'm going to secure the film door into place now. Okay, so there is something inside of the film called caustic paste, and you do not want that on you, and you do not want that on your clothes. So I think it's always a good idea to wash my hands after I handle film or a film pack, and then you also want to make sure that you dispose of the film pack properly. So I'm going to go dispose of this film pack properly and then I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be back and we'll go from there. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do plan to make future videos about this Instax Mini Link 2 printer. And if that's something that you're interested in, please check back for those videos. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.